Hello, I'm Lynette from Wild Sky Coaching and today I wanted to talk to you about artist talks. Do you get a little sinking feeling in your stomach when I say that? Most people don't like public speaking, that's a fact. However, it seems to be a well-researched fact. However, artists in particular, I think it's a really big ask to get them to stand up and talk in a gallery or at an opening about their work. If they wanted to be a speaker, they would be a speaker, not a visual artist. They speak through their work. I'm sure that's what you do. So being asked to talk about it can be a really big challenge. And challenge being the word we use here to, instead of the word difficult. It's very difficult. Difficult at any time, but to talk about yourself, to talk about your work, in a public place to a crowd of strangers, it's nerve wracking. So if you feel anxious about that, then you're not alone and it's not surprising, it's perfectly normal. And I'm here today to help you with three things, three quick things that could really assist you in giving an artist talk. One is posture, one is practice, and one is preparation, but not in that order. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about was those nerves, that anxiety. Whereabouts in your body are you feeling that anxiety? Very often and not for everyone. Some people feel it in the chest. Some feel it in the gut. Sometimes you might feel butterflies. Uh, a public speaker who'd won lots of prizes for his public speaking once uh, quoted someone who told him, or perhaps he made this up, that he still gets butterflies every time he steps up. We all do, even famous actors. But now the butterflies fly in formation, so they're not fluttering all over the place. And some ways you can get that to happen is by shifting your mood. Uh, there's some other videos available around how to shift your mood, but you know the best way to move your mood. So moving your mood is key because everything you say and everything you do is going to come from that mood. So for example, to get in the mood for doing this video today, I moved from mood of, oh my God, what am I going to say? It's all about me, everyone's looking, uh, anxiety, to a mood of curiosity. I wonder what would happen if I made a video about that. Who knows? It's a lot more helpful mood and also it helps you to think about who's listening. Because it's not, even though it seems like it's all about you, it's actually about the listener. What questions might they have about your art? Anyway, I'm getting off the topic here. There's a whole coaching session around this and I wanna keep this short. So moving your mood is the first thing. Move into a mood that's more resourceful and useful to you when you wanna give a talk. And that links into posture because the way you stand, having a nice firm stance when you speak will help with the quality of your voice and your confidence. Secondly, is preparing. The more prepared you are, the less nervous you'll be. It's a very tried and true formula. So even if you have to write down every single word of what you're going to say and learn it off by heart, do that. Or if you need to record what you're going to say in your phone and listen to it several times to get it into your head, do that. Whatever helps you prepare, maybe practicing in front of a friend, or videoing yourself. It's hard watching yourself, I know, but try that. It's all vital part of preparation. You can always delete the video. So, and the third part is practicing, which I probably just covered in the previous point because all those things help you practice. Do it over and over again till you feel confident, till you feel that you have really captured three main points about what your audience is most curious to know about your artwork. I hope that helps and I'll be back with more helping videos from Wild Sky Coaching. See you then.